Hello everyone and welcome to this nice weekend, weekend, midweek shave. I am Hans and I am your host here at this lovely YouTube channel called HC Shaves. So what are we looking at today? We're actually looking at a sample from GF Trumpus Spanish leather. Um, comes, I just put it together, a small container like this. And um, comes up like this. Ball, fine accoutrements, and there is the cream. Same strength, it's mild, about three, perhaps even two, but perhaps that'll change once we're loaded up. We're going to use this nice synthetic brush, the Mocha from Yaki, a 24mm one, and we'll be putting it in to soak while we prepare. And by the way, this, I believe this is uh, plastic, um, can be reused. Simply clean it out and put in whatever shaving cream or soap you wish to bring with you wherever. Blade is going to be the shark. I'll just put it out right now. Comes right up once for those who are interested. And it's this one is made in Egypt. Yes. Razor is the Ilka razor. It says so on the bottom. Uh, three piece. Travel razor this made in Belgium. Um, around the 1930s, so this is an old piece. Head heavy, but obviously, overall, it's a light razor. All right, let's just put some water on the skin. I did so before starting recording, gathering together some pieces, simply just to, you know, let the bristles sort of soak. All right, I brought this. British leather, not leather, leather, um, to see the scent wise comparison wise. How it compares. Brush, we'll flick it once, twice, thrice, and we'll get going. Now I have given GOF Trumpers straight away, you know, no issues there. Um, a hard time because they use parabens in their uh, formula, uh, which is sort of a, makes it long lasting but i have soaps that's lasted long over their expiration date a few years now and uh, other shavers have experienced the same thing um and they have not had the, the, the necessity to put in parabens so i am actually against using parabens in, uh, in shaving products i don't like putting it on my skin but now i'm testing it I'm testing the scent uh, because I was interested and why not try to test it out to see if my skin reacts to it, perhaps not. Um, straight away, the uh, brush is completely filled with lather and we have extra cosmetics, British leather as a, um, what's it called, aftershave because I have an idea that this scent would match it nicely. Scent is a bit stronger now. Lovely thick creamy lather this, so we'll add some more water to thin it out. Lovely bristles on the uh, brush. nice and soft tips let's just try to save it here now they're all over the place all right let's give it a good cleansing Let's 
load the razor and see how we get on. I've been told that this is this. It's very much resembling to um, what's it called imperial leather. I've never smelled that, so I have no idea if that's correct or not. But it has a nice leathery scent. It's musky, musky scent. Nice and tight. Here you see. There you go. Overhang as well. Look at that overhang. So yeah. But a nice nimble travel razor. This. Let's get it started. Sort of a mid aggression uh, feel. That's a sharp blade. I'll leave my judgment until the second pass. Right now I'm just focusing on slickness. And that there is. Lots of. It's a nice slick soap. Nice sharp blade. So it seems to be working out okay as, as of now. The scent is nice and warm, sort of musky, leathery. You also get some blade feel of this razor. And it does add some, uh, not chatter, but it does have some, some feedback to it. All right. First pass. Seems okay. The brush fell down the lava ball. Dip in water. We'll go. So yeah, I have a parental meeting tonight. Got parents of the class that I'm in charge of get together and they are sort of informed what's what's important for this school year. And um, I am at the last stage before the enter um, a new era of their life before they exit our base school. It's nine graders, so how old are they? Fifteen, something like that. Yes, second pass here. Nice and slick. The scent, um, scent strength. Hmm. What would I put that at? Scent strength about. Four, but on these ensembles, that's most likely not always the case when you get a full top. Uh, sometimes samples have been laying about for a long, long time and have lost their uh, saint strength. So I cannot tell you if this is the scent strength that you're going to get when you buy a top of your Trombus. Now I am getting a slight sort of tingliness on my neck. But there is no visible Irritation to me anyway, the, perhaps the camera picks up something that the mirror doesn't. Sometimes that's the case and sometimes vice versa. But until now, it's a good shave, it's a good shave. Now would I buy a full tub of this? Hmm. 
No, I wouldn't. I, I personally would not. And it's quite all right if you are a duet tromper lover and you love all the scents and their products and you really do enjoy this scent. There's nothing wrong with the soap other than it gives me a slight itchiness on my neck, but scent wise it's okay. But to my nose, it is very resemblance to this. Only this is more complex. It has some, well, yeah, it's, here is the maker, by the way, on the lid. It has some smokiness to it in the background. It has leather, it has some musk, but it also has some kind of fresh citrus that plays around in the background alongside with the smokiness. And that complexity, I really enjoy. But as I said, there's nothing wrong with the scent. I just, just I don't just don't enjoy it that much. You know, that's just how it is sometimes, you know. And I know I won't be shaming anyone who enjoys this scent because it is it, it's it's you know it's sophisticated as well, you know. But I just fancy the extra version better. So I hope you're well. Finally got to pay for the vintage stuff from London. And that is proceeding as we speak. Sadly, the uh, I have I had something in the, in the mail didn't arrive yet, but it seems to be stuck. It was uh, a gift from Jordan Saving Soaps from Canada, and was very much looking forward to showing it to you. But I'll give it a day more. Oh, got me there, and uh, before you know. Contacting him, doing anything about it, but it might still end up showing up. There you go. A very nice BBX shave that's very nice. I'll do a face wash and I'll see you all at the post shave. So we're back. Nice, refreshing shave and face wash. We'll use some Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's uh, getting a bit down there. Mint leaders. And no, not by Fayez, but by yours truly. Just put mental crystals in it, it'll do just fine. And do not spare on it. It's good stuff for your skin. It's helped me up. I had a great deal for irritation and wreckness and stuff like that. But sadly, above here, if I put it on my skin, my skin don't react nicely to it. Alright. Sum up. We use the Yaki Mocha. Very nice brush. Excellent brush. I actually love the handle on this one. 24 millimeter. Uh, gorgeous brush. Nice tips. Good backbone to whip up another. Even though it is a shaving cream. And this is what is left after three passes and a face wash. Um, razor was the Ilka. Travel Racer, made in Belgium in the 1930s, so it's an old one, Bakelite, and the Shark, 
the sharp blade, first use, sharp, comfortable, oh look here, I did get over here. I thought we were mates. Yeah, well anyway, it's a nice razor, that's certainly my fault this. Shaving soap or cream of the day was GF Trumpers Spanish leather. Comes in this little container. It's a sample. Nice scent uh, overall. Um, leathery, musky, and basically in, that's what my nose picks up. That's it. Uh, the shape was good. It was nice. Besides these parts here, um, slickness was good. Protection was nice. Whipped up in no time. Uh, so yeah, very nice, um, warm scent, especially in this cold weather we're having, like I'm having right now with a lot of rain. Though I might uh, have to add, it does not exceed this scent. From Extra Plasmens, British leather, extra right there. Used it once, I think, twice perhaps. The scent is just more complex. So if you enjoyed UF Trumpet Spanish Leather, you should try this. And no, I'm not paid uh, to say any of this. This one has a complexity. It has the same uh, leather scent, musky scent, but it has in the background someone smoking a cigar or something like that, whipped around uh, some citrus. It's very nice. And these dots will calm down eventually. But for now, We'll put on the extra cosmetic British leather because that's the closest thing that I uh, have. Um, that's a slight hit of mental in it. And I'll. There we go. Oh, that's nice. This is, is an. Let's see here. After shade, UD Toilette. So, thank you for watching, thank you for joining me. Check out the other videos if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for... <coughs> Got out my nose, sorry. Thank you for watching. And stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. And remember to tell your loved ones you love them. That's important. Bye-bye.